My name is Laura Kina, and my project is Okinawan Princess, The Legend of Hajichi Tattoos. I'm really excited to be illustrating my very first children's book. It's written in Pidgin English, and it's translated into an Okinawan indigenous language called Uchinaguchi. I'm a mixed-race Okinawan American, and I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, mostly around white people. And I, I actually didn't know a lot about my Okinawan heritage. So part of this project is like going back in time and learning about my own culture and heritage. So I went back to my dad's plantation community in Hilo, Hawaii. And when I was talking to elders, one of the things that kept coming up was a tradition called hajichi, tattoos. Like they're these big uh, geometric hand tattoos. And I'd never, ever heard of that before. I'm an academic. I'm a professor at DePaul University. I teach art, media, and design. And I also do Asian American Studies. So I was at the Association for Asian American Studies conference, and this author, Lee Tanucci, won this book award for Best Poetry and Prose for his book, Oriental Father and Son. It's told from the perspective of someone who's Okinawan from a sugarcane plantation community. And I was like, what? Oh my gosh, that's my family background and history. I've got to meet this guy. It's too much of a coincidence. We've got to work together. The story opens up in the 1980s, and it's a grandma talking to her granddaughter. And uh, the granddaughter is like watching TV, and there's a supermodel on the TV. It's kind of like Cindy Crawford. And she wishes she could be like that white normative standard of beauty. And the grandma's like, no, no, no. Let me show you what real beauty is. And she starts to tell her about their family history. And then she starts to tell her about her mother and how her mother had these really bold um, geometric Okinawan uh, hajichi tattoos. So part of it is about pushing back against white normative standards of beauty and recognizing that it's really good to be proud of your difference. And another part of it is actually telling a historic legend of this princess or high priestess during Ryukyu Kingdom era Okinawa. I need your help to make this project happen. I'm so close to finishing this. So with your help, that's going to help with the production of the book and publication. And I hope to get this out this summer or fall at the latest. It's an awesome feminist fairy tale for anybody, for children, whether they're girl identified or however. It talks about it's OK to be different. It's OK to find strength in a situation where you think that you may not have the ability to overcome something. the high